Aloha, it's Kiana Kayabiab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. Honolulu police have released a photo of a suspect involved in a deadly stabbing near an after-hours bar in the Keomoku area, sparked by an argument. The suspect, a bald Asian male in his 30s or 40s, fled the scene with a knife. Three men were stabbed during the altercation, with a 28-year-old victim succumbing to his injuries. Authorities urge anyone with information to contact them, emphasizing the suspect is considered armed and dangerous. In a major financial move, Capital One is set to acquire Discover for $35 billion, merging two of the nation's leading credit card companies. This strategic deal aims to enhance Capital One's banking services and Discover's payment processing capabilities. Shareholders of Discover will receive Capital One shares valued at a significant premium, reflecting the deal's potential to reshape the consumer credit landscape amidst changing economic conditions. Hirotake Yano, the founder of Daiso, the renowned Japanese discount store chain, has passed away at 80 due to heart failure. Yano, who started Daiso in 1977, transformed the retail landscape with his 100 yen shop concept, expanding the brand to over 5,000 stores globally. His legacy lives on through the widespread of success of Daiso, offering an array of affordable products and capturing the hearts of shoppers worldwide. The White House has announced plans to impose significant sanctions in response to the death of Alexei Navalny, Russia's most prominent opposition leader, in prison. These sanctions aim to hold those responsible for Navalny's death accountable, reflecting the U.S. government's stance on human rights violations. Navalny's death has drawn international condemnation and highlights the ongoing concerns over political freedom and human rights in Russia. Shohei Otani, the Los Angeles Dodgers' two-time AL MVP, has taken live batting practice for the first time this spring training. Following elbow surgery, though he won't pitch this season, Otani's return to hitting is a positive sign, especially after signing a significant contract with the Dodgers. His performance last season was outstanding, leading in several categories and securing his second MVP award. As the Dodgers prepare for their season opener, Otani's progress will be closely watched. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.